brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet you in the name and in the love and the peace of Jesus Christ. And for our uh, daily word today, we're going to look into Colossians. We've started in the journey through the Bible, reading in Colossians. We're going to look at, at chapter 1 here and beginning uh, partway into verse 9, where we read this. We ask God to give you complete knowledge of His will and to give you spiritual wisdom and understanding. Then the way you live will always honor and please the Lord, and your lives will produce every kind of good fruit. All the while, you will grow as you learn to know God better and better. And I, I will just share a, a little from a pastor's heart on this. Um, for some time, the, the church, particularly in North America, has become enamored with an idea that is really not biblical and really is, is, I think, greatly detrimental to the church. And that is that growing, spiritual growth, is a matter of knowing things, right? And so know what, what's in 2 Corinthians, know some principles there. Uh, know even some doctrine and, and uh, know how to talk about that. And, it, and, and there certainly is nothing wrong with biblical knowledge. There's nothing wrong. In fact, it's a positive good to know our doctrine. But knowing things is not growth. As a matter of fact, it can actually puff us up so that we become arrogant. We believe because we know this and that, that we're better than somebody. And this, you know, we talked the other day about the exclusivity of Christ. This is part of where the exclusivity of Christ becomes problematic because if our faith is, is really just about knowledge, I know this, I have this system of thought, and my system of thought is better than your system of thought, then that can be perceived by those outside the church as being very arrogant and kind of is. But what we understand from Scripture is that actual growth, spiritual growth, is not about knowing things. It is about knowing God. It is about a personal relationship with God. And for us to know in that relationship the work of God transforming our lives. The scripture says that, that it will produce every kind of good fruit as we know God, as we understand His will. And, and that, is, that is knowledge, understanding points of information, but it is also knowing the confirmation and leading of the Holy Spirit. As that happens, it is producing every good fruit in our lives lives, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, self-control, and so forth, and the fruit of the gospel. People are coming to know Jesus because we know Him, because we delight in our relationship, because we have known the grace, the forgiveness of God in Jesus. We know that our souls find no rest until they rest in Jesus Christ, and so we long for other people to know Him as we know Him. And it could never be an arrogant thing. It's not something that puffs up when we understand that everything we have, life itself in Jesus is a gift, not because we know things, not because there, there are things about us that are superior to somebody else, but simply because Jesus loves us and He came and He died for our sins. This is growth. This is growth. And so, may we give ourselves over to knowing God, not just things about Him, but to knowing Him. Learn things if you can, for sure. Gain understanding of the Scriptures, for sure. But let God in that relationship, that personal relationship, the Spirit dwelling in you, use that information, use that knowledge to change your life. And then He says, the way you live will always honor and please the Lord. May it be so in Jesus' name and to His glory. Amen. Amen. Well, I love you, church family, and until we get a chance to speak again, may God bless you and keep you.